my comrades in gaming what up ran 400 here and after a little hiatus after thanksgiving i am back and not better than ever but i'm definitely back and you'll have to bear with me a little bit which i feel like i say in every video but here's a little tip right out the gate for you if you jump on this bench here you can get, easily get rushers coming through this little like i don't know that's not a garage it's like a little doorway slash i would not design that house i'll tell you that much but yeah you can get rushers coming through that way and then you can get rushers coming through this like hole in the wall right here which is reminiscent of Battlefield, but... And you can also see there's a lot of people who like to go on this, like, roof with, like, the two staircases. So they like to go up there. And it's pretty easy in the beginning if you're in the middle just to kind of net you some kills really easy right here, stop the rushers from getting near you. Especially since they start at C and you start at B, or at least that's where I spawned in this case. So that's always good. <laughs> I got a lot to talk about in this video, so... I guess we should start with, like, what I'm doing here, so... If you notice the title of it, it's called Weapons Cycled, and it's a series I want to start, which I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do, but we're going to see how this works out. So what Weapons Cycled is, is it comes from Black Ops, I guess, whenever they cycle weapons in Sharpshooter, which is where I got the name Weapons Cycled from. But so what Weapons Cycled is, is I'm going to go through Modern Warfare 3 with you guys. We're going to do every gun in the game, at every one at least once, so that includes assault rifles. Assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, sniper rifles, shotguns, secondary weapons, machine pistols, regular pistols, launchers, so that's javelin, small, javelin or whatever, SMAW, uh, the two grenade launchers, the XM25 and whatever the other one is, the one from Battlefield as well. So we're going to go through all of those, we're going to use them, and that'll be our primary weapon for the game. Um, I'm going to allow kill streaks for myself just because it's probably going to get me a better score and it makes it a little more fun because... I honestly don't think we're going to do that well. I'm going to do it well with the Javelin. <laughs> or, I mean, not the Javelin, like the... I don't even know. Some of the shotguns and a lot of the launchers. I'll we'll see how that works. I'm going to try to use the gun until I exhaust all the ammo in it before I switch to my secondary. But, I mean, I already violated in this one because I have the small in this one. But that's part of the class setup, so... I I'll give myself some leniency in that one because this was filmed a little bit before I really wanted to, like, do the series. So, I'll try to adhere to that a lot more, and I get owned right there by that guy. Ugh. So, we'll see. So, we'll start out with this one, and I'm going to do them out of order, so just whatever I feel like doing, I'm doing. Because I don't just want to run down the assault rifles, that'd be really boring, let's be honest. So, this one's we'll start with the M16A4. It's one of the guns, yeah, A4? Yeah. M16A4. It was the one of the most overpowered guns in Call of Duty 4, and it got really nerfed because of that, I feel. So... It became the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2, and then it's the Type 95 in this one. So it's a three-round burst gun. What I like using on it is, since I don't use it that much, everybody uses the Type 95. And honestly, if I had to pick one over the other, I have a feeling everybody in the world, in their right mind, would probably pick the Type 95. But, you know, try the M16 out if you like it. You might like it. Maybe just like how it feels in the hands, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, M16 A4. I use a red dot sight on it, which is also what many people use in the Type 95, just to make it more accurate. I also use a Semtex and Kick as my proficiency, but then again, Kick was the only one I had. But Kick is still good. I also use Semtex and Stuns, Flashbangs, and or a Trophy System as the secondary I have, or as the tactical uh, equipment. I have Trophy System on here, but that was just because I was on a Trophy System fin like Kick for some reason. I don't know, I think every single one of my custom classes has Trophy System on. I was like, no, run Trophy System. That's all we're doing. Popping down a little award by myself and saying it's a trophy, we're calling it, we're good. So, yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk about the trophy system a little bit later. So, perks I was using were Recon, Quick Draw, and uh, Marksman. And Quick Draw just for the faster aiming, because if you're using a three round burst gun, you kind of want to be aiming pretty quick. And Marksman just because, again, three round burst, medium to long range type of gun, so I want it long lines of sight just to see their name tags. Assassin's Pro cancels out the whole name tag thing, so. Be aware of that if you're looking at somebody and they don't have a name tag, they probably have Assassin Pro. And if you notice, I'm kind of being a little more careful here in this match right now, just because I didn't realize that I had a Predator missile to get my higher kill streaks, because I was running Predator, Assault Drone, and Pavla. And then here I went to call my Assault Drone and I accidentally called a Predator, and I was like, oh, I didn't even realize I had this. Alright, makes it a little easier for me. So there's me being a randy idiotic type of move right there, but it worked down anyway. So that's good. One of the things that I, what one of the things that I realized is that if you're running um, if you're running something like Pavel, I think if you look at the Pavel, it gets one kill here and then it gets destroyed. 
So attack helicopters, payloads, they get shot down really easy in this game. So that's why I like running in Reapers as well. They can get you a lot of kills if you're if like people aren't shooting down. But since it's ground war, there's probably someone who's gonna shoot it down. That's why I like running assault drone a lot better than something like a Reaper, just because it's on the ground and not that many people are gonna shoot at it because they can't all shoot at it at once. Because no, like I don't see anybody here, so no one's shooting at me, and it's not like they can lock onto you really easy. But then again, assault, go uh, yeah. assault drones can be destroyed really easy just because, like, someone has a Reaper or Predator missile, they can take it out. Also take it out by shooting it enough and throwing stuff at it, which I think I kind of half kill myself here with this too, but it also gets de it gets destroyed pretty quick. But not before I take out a couple guys. So that's why I like running the assault drone over something like the, sh like, strafe runs and that, just because they get shot down really easy, they give the other team a lot of points. So that's why I don't run that. So yeah, that's weapon cycled. I'm gonna try to do. I, I do apologize for being on like hiatus. I think I have like four four projects, one additional paper, it's about like 50 plus plate pages of writing, plus like three presentations and finals in like the next three weeks. So you're gonna have to bear with me. It's gonna be very irregular until then. But after that, I have Christmas break for 14 days. So yay me. So we're, we're, you're gonna see a lot of stuff from me. I do have a lot saved up. So hopefully I can do the like, audio recording because the audio is what takes long for me. I, I guess I'm just lazy. Yeah, who knows. So yeah, um, one of the other things is that everybody runs Sleight of Hand for the first perk. And I like running Recon now. I used to like running Sleight of Hand just because it was faster aiming back in MW2, I think. But now since it just swaps weapons faster, I prefer Recon now a little bit. And if you if you, know, yeah, if you guys know what Recon does is, what Recon does is it paints targets on the map for you, similar to like the Blackbird and Black Ops. So they'll appear as like, right now we have advanced UAV and you see like the little dots or like the little arrows. So that's what Recon does. It'll put them as like those little arrows, but they'll stay on the map. Similar to like the Blackbird from Black Ops, which I think I said twice now. So yay for birds coming back into the picture. If you guys remember the crows. <laughs> so it's, it's really good in that sense. So flashbang, stuns, semtex grenades, equipment. And like stuff like rocket launcher, so like the small, which is why I have it on here as a secondary. That'll paint the enemy on the mini map. If you have it pro, you'll get um, bullet damage will paint them on the mini map. So for something that doesn't kill really fast and they go hide behind a corner once you shoot them, you can see what corner they hid behind. So that's really cool. And if you notice there, I got um, I, I put down my trophy system and I shot it by accident, and I got a challenge for destroying enemy equipment. And for some reason, your trophy system is apparently enemy equipment right now. I don't know if they're going to patch that eventually, but if you guys are going for sit rep or something, you can just throw down your trophy system and shoot it. That'll help you get sit rep pro really fast. I know Still City talked to me about that earlier, and that's just really weird and odd, and I'm surprised they haven't caught that yet. So maybe they fixed it by now, for all I know. So if you want to go, you know, trophy system. So yeah, like I... I don't know if I talked about this already. So I was on a trophy system kick right here, and what trophy systems do is they put... They shoot down stuff, more or less. So, it doesn't shoot down bullets, but it shoots down stuff like Predator missiles, Predator missiles, Reaper bullets, AC-130 bullets, frags, Semtex, stuns, flashbangs. Basically, enemy equipment in that, in that sort of sense. It has two shots in it, so it can shoot down two things. It's really good, especially if you're like sitting in a corner, or like sitting trying to like prevent, and if you want to prevent being flashbanged or stunned. So that's why I would run trophy system over something like flashbangs or stuns. And I have I have a tendency to get killed by predators a lot, and I have a feeling that's just me thinking that, but it always happens it seems, so I have trophy system for that. One of the things that um one of the things that I didn't realize when I made this class is that it kinda counters the uh, um fact of recon because if you're running recon, I would suggest running stuns and flashbangs because that's where you're gonna get most of your hit markers. But here's what I was waiting for. Here's an example of recon at its finest here. So I shoot this, I kill this guy first, and I'm trying to secure A here for my team, and I shoot this guy, but it doesn't kill him, but if you look on the mini-map on the top left, I can see him behind the car. So I know exactly where he's going, so I can pick him off right there really easy. So I was allowed to capture A because I knew where he was and I knew he wasn't going to rush me. So had I not had recon, he might have came around the other side or he might have killed me. You know, it just makes it that much easier. Which is why I tried to shoot this guy with a small, I didn't actually expect that to kill, but I expect him to be painted for me so that I could see him a lot easier. So that's one of the uses of recon. And if honestly, if you're running sleight of hand, everybody used to run sleight of hand just because it was a lot easier to... It, you could aim faster, which if you're in a one-to-one -one gunfight and you had sleight of hand and they didn't, they'd probably win. But since now all it does in the pro version is swap weapons faster, 
Um, a lot of people run quick draw as their second perk, and they, everybody's throwing slate of hand for faster reloading. But I mean, what people have a tendency to do it seems is that they tend to reload right after they kill somebody. So slate of hand's gonna save their life just because they're reloading right after every kill. But you don't need to reload after every kill. Usually you can, you know, you still have enough bullets for another clip or another enemy before you reload. So I don't really think it's as useful anymore. So that's why I like running recon because it seems to save my butt more. I don't know. That's just my preference. I mean, you can call it what you will. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully, I, I'm i going to try. I'm going to try my best to upload for you guys. We'll see how it goes. Definitely after finals or whatever, but I'll still try to do the two-week thing. I do apologize for not being, like, really consistent. So hopefully we'll have another weapon cycle maybe later this week, probably early next week, along with some other things coming. So hopefully you guys have a great day. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day, happy Thanksgiving, whatever you guys call it. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.